You ever wished you could live like a celebrity in the home of your dreams? A home that is a showcase of luxury and an oasis of peace. On Cecil's Winning Designs, these lucky contestants will totally transform a room in their home. Watch as celebrity designer Cecil Hayes turns these novices with no experience into design wizards. The challenge to create a room fit for a celebrity begins now on Cecil's Winning Designs. Show. For years, designer Cecil Hayes has created interior palaces for many of the movers and shakers of the world, including top Hollywood celebrities. She's been ranked three times by Architectural Digest as one of the top 100 designers in the world. Interior design to me is, is art, is living art. It is what really makes you feel good. It actually inspires you to be a better person. And I truly, truly believe that a home should be something that really makes you feel good about yourself, make you want to just get up and go and to achieve in the world. And the only thing that can really do that is correct interior designing, not just furniture items, but living art. Cecil's Winning Designs is a totally unique concept, bringing regular people into the world of high-end interior design. One, two, get that. So Elaine, Monet, it's so good to have you here. Thank you. So in here, I just want to bring your attention to a few things of space planning, just basic rules, okay? Okay, okay? First of all, although we do not have uh, walls, but you still must have hallways. So leading from the master bedroom into the family room, I still maintain my 36 inches for a hallway. So that's good to know for open floor plan with okay. no walls. Also, you'll notice the distance of the, uh, see right here where the sofa is and the table? That's 18 inches because we want to make sure that you have enough leg room. These are the kind of things I'm going to be looking for when I check your design work. So did you get all of that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let me show you the next space. Okay. okay, here we are in this very small guest room. But small has nothing to do with charming, right? The reason I wanted to bring you into this small room is to show you what you can do with a lot of thought to what you're doing on a budget. Look at the two night tables here. Both of these night tables were purchased from different stores. They're retail stores, not extremely reasonable. And here, just take, check this one out, it's metal. But what really gave it the power of cost and making it look very valuable is this round glass that's sandblasted under the bottom. This table over here is actually a basket. <laughs> <laughs> with a sandblasted glass placed on the top. People walk into this room and they go, wow, this is great. This really looks expensive. You can do that. You can do that with a lot of creative thought and you can come up with a gorgeous look. One, two, get that. <laughs> We're gonna be very casual here. We're just gonna chit chat. It's just girls out to lunch. You know, and anything that you want to ask me, any other than the size dress I wear, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm just going to give you enough <laughs> that you won't be my competition. Job That's security. <laughs> what I'm there for is to make sure whatever they're doing is done in good taste. So I'm the taste doctor. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm here today for the opportunity to work with the famous Cecil Hayes in designing the room of my dreams. Well, what brings me to the show is I purchased my first home about a year ago and I am in desperate need of help. Here we are with uh, Elaine. How are you, Elaine? Good, thank you. And Monet. And you're both here because you want to be winners of this beautiful room. This is going to be a little bit different, okay? Uh, first of all, I want you to have fun. Uh, you, you have to have fun because it is art. And I'm here to tell you that you can win if you really listen to my instructions and follow what I say. And I'll work with you and make sure that your room is the best that it can be. But I want to revisit something that each of you said so I can get to uh, feel you a little bit better. Now, here we are, Elaine. Yes. Uh, you said you wanted your room to be uh, romantic, you wanted to feel good about it, you wanted to be sexy. Absolutely. So my question to me is, what size is he? How big is he? Is he blonde? Is he what? That's the only sexy I know for a room. I need some help. <laughs> 
Well, here's the thing. You're, you're talking about romantic and sexy in reference to colors. Absolutely. Okay. And what I want to say to you, Elaine, that we, we're going to do that, but I want you to be very careful about your colors. Okay. Because colors, uh, it, they're not a fad in interior design, and you may hear that. But please don't believe that. Uh, so if you want your sexy colors, I think you said crimson and gold. Right. Uh, what I recommend is that you use it in small dosage, small amounts. Uh, keep your large items neutral. Okay. You would be amazed about what a little color will do as an accent. Color is very powerful, and it will show up and you will see it. And then you're gonna have someone in there that's gonna see more than the color too. <laughs> Trust me on that. Uh, now we're gonna to go to uh, Monet. What is your problem now with the room that we're going to tackle? Well, because I've done each room three times, I have a little, little, little budget now. Okay. So I have terracotta floors that I don't wanna break up and I don't like the color of the floor. Good news for you, unless you have a, a strong relationship with a lot of short people <laughs> <laughs> that's coming to your house. You don't have to worry about it, Monet. You really don't have to worry about it. You know why? No. Uh, because the floor is down below. It's below eye level. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, uh, very little of that floor will be noticed. So we're not going to worry about it. We're just okay. going to wor uh, work around it and give you the room of your desire. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, I'm Absolutely. ready. I'm ready. Okay. You ready? All right. All right. I see, I perceive Cecil as being a very warm, spirited person, very gentle, yet motivated, driven, and highly successful. When I first met her, I just read right into her as, hmm, that's where I want to be when I get to where I need to be in my life, as far as success. There is nothing in the world like interior design. It's all about creating balance in a space and balance in your life. Do you need it? Absolutely, positively, yes. <laughs>